Heating water accounts for up to 30% of the average home's energy budget. For homes that use 41 gallons or less of hot water daily, demand water heaters can be 24 to 34% more energy efficient than conventional storage tank water heaters. They can be 8 to 14% more energy efficient for homes that use a lot of hot water, around 86 gallons per day. Tankless water heaters, also called instantaneous or demand water heaters, provide hot water only as needed. Traditional storage water heaters produce standby energy losses that cost you money. Gas tankless water heaters, which is what I have here, they use high powered burners to quickly heat the water as it runs through heat exchanger. Now they were about 22% more energy efficient on average than the gas fired storage tank models in tests done by consumer reports. So when a hot water tap is turned on, cold water travels through a pipe into the unit. Either a gas burner like I have here or an electric element heats the water. As a result, demand water heaters deliver a constant supply of hot water. You don't need to wait for a storage tank to fill up with enough hot water. However, a demand water heater's output limits the flow rate. Typically, demand water heaters provide hot water at a rate of 2 to 5 gallons per minute. Gas-fired demand water heaters produce higher flow rates than electric ones. In some cases, even the largest gas-fired models cannot supply enough water for simultaneous multiple uses in large households. In this case, you can install a whole house type or also be aware of models with constantly burning pilot lights. These can waste energy and offset the elimination of standby energy losses when compared to a storage water heater. Find out from the manufacturer how much gas the pilot light uses for the model you are considering. So consider models that have an intermittent ignition device or IID instead of a standing pilot light. This device resembles the spark ignition device on some gas kitchen ranges and ovens. There are several very important considerations when purchasing a tankless water heater. If you plan to purchase an electric tankless water heater, consider the voltage, amperage, and circuit breaker. If you plan to purchase a natural gas or propane unit, ensure that your current gas line meets the requirements of the new gas-fired tankless water heater. Also, consider the venting requirements. One of the biggest considerations of your purchase is where you need hot water. It is important to recognize the number of fixtures that require hot water. Each fixture has a flow rate, like the sink will have one, the toilet will have one, the shower will have one. The flow rate is especially important since tankless water heaters will generate a temperature rise based on the flow rate demanded. Next, you should look at your ambient incoming water temperature. If you live in a cold climate like New York, your incoming water temperature will likely be much lower than if you live in a warm climate like Florida. Your best bet is to find out how much temperature rise you will need in order for your hot water to reach the desired heat. So, if the ambient incoming water temperature for your shower is 65 degrees Fahrenheit, and you are using a two gallon per minute shower and you want to raise that temperature to 115 degrees Fahrenheit, you will want to look for a tankless water heater that will provide at least a 50 degree Fahrenheit temperature rise at two gallons per minute. However, if you anticipate additional simultaneous demand such as the hot water from a sink being used while someone is showering, you will need to add the sink's gallon per minute to the shower's gallon per minute in order to determine your overall gallon per minute demand and then find the temperature rise necessary to meet your overall needs. Choosing the right heater for your home size determines whether or not your heater will operate correctly. It is possible to buy one that's too large for your home's needs as well as one that's too small. So, Take the time to carefully calculate which unit will be the right one for you. That way, you will have all of the hot water you need and save money too. Thanks for watching. I'm Robin Hartle.